So we are at the modern soft opening of Alpine. Um, Taking a look at the parking lot. There's a check-in area. Parking lot definitely needs some work for more parking. But the tape is fine. All right, there's Gibby. Um, they do have a nice shaded area in the back where uh, they got shade and uh, tail set up, so that's kind of cool. And they got the car next to it, which is really nice. And they have two separate entrances for the field. Yeah. Yeah, so we came out here on their soft opening, was it what, like 40 people? 50? Uh, yeah, something like that. So I have never played here before. Gibby, have you played here before? No. I feel like this used to be Weekend Warriors back when I was a kid. I'm not sure. So the, the, we played two three-minute CQBs uh, in, in this area right now. We're walking through. So this is the right boundary. And then it goes all the way over there. This is kind of like their quote-unquote CQB area. They got nice cover and bunkers, and it, it's shaded, which is nice for like when it gets hotter. So as we're playing, we also did an hour-long game on the, the bigger field section. And the first thing we thought of, this is a mix of velocity and the old Mr. Paintball because this this field is very big and there's a lot of land they haven't used yet but all the land they do have they have little like barricades up here and there even out towards the bigger field same kind of thing they have barricades which is which is pretty nice rather than just like forest and what you guys can't see the field continues off that way pretty much up until interstate 8 which is like I don't know, what would you say? A mile? From here? <laughs> yeah. Almost, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cold today. So the other cool thing is, this is five minutes off the eight. If that. Yeah. If that. I'd say three minutes. And it's right, right by the past the Viejas Casino? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Viejas Casino. So we're still going along the CQB area, CQB-ish. And this is the upper section of that, that big CQB-ish area. So for FPS, it is 420 with the point two is the limit. Um, snipers, are snipers 550 or five? I don't remember. I think it was 500. I've seen mixed things about being um, DMR or um, bolt action. So if you have something like that, make sure you contact them or read the rules first, see which one is allowed. There is no minimum engagement distance for riflemen or polar stars, but for snipers and DMRs, it's 100 feet. 100. Yeah, and this is the uh, the left side of the CQB field, is the upper side. And you can see people down there, that's the lower side of the CQB area. CQB ish. The cool thing, this is all playable. Uh, even that giant hill way over there, the, the first one, not the second one, is, is in play. <laughs> and we'll show where we played the, the last big game, which is on a much smaller hill, but still is big enough. If we ever... Uh come down here when it rains there is two small uh, running creeks in this field that's pretty cool tactical river crossings all about it <clears throat> so yeah we played that hill right that one right there no no it's that one because the boundary line's no, right there was... yeah there's a boundary line because we're hugging getting the boundary line going up Oh, oh, which yeah, curved maybe, over there. Maybe we did play that one. I yeah. Think, no, no we, this is no, it. We all were coming down this one. It was that hill. Yeah, there's that hill right there. Yeah. We played that hill because I walked that, that way. Let's see. How far do we want to go? So this, what you can see, is not even a fourth of the field they have available. We're not going to do the walk of the whole field. 
it continues all the way pretty much to that big rock formation that's right over there. Yeah, so if you pull up a uh, Alpine payphone Google map, um, you'll see it on the other side of the eight, and there's some telephone poles um, just before the interstate, and their field boundary is to that. So it's, it's a really, really big field. And then way over there, they have like RV park and stuff, but it still goes away all that way. Um, but yeah, and here's that river, one of the river creeks. Take a quick peek at that. So we actually had to cross that once during the game. So I think the biggest issue we ran into is A, not being familiar with the field, and B, because the field isn't used a bunch a bunch, um, player created trails are, are not as big of a thing yet. So as more people play, the more trails you can walk on it and more developed they are. The more people play, the more those, those two problems are gonna be gone. Yeah. But this is all playable. Yeah, this is even a fourth. Let's do a walk over here. But even way out here, well, out here-ish, there's still barricades and bunkers. There's place throughout the park. And it was one of the biggest things we wish Mr. Paintball had, is just put something out there, both as a landmark, something you use as an objective, or just a thing. this way. Don't go too far. Oh, so nice thing, <clears throat> excuse me. I have not seen any poison oak or ivy, so that's been nice. Yeah, so for the last big game we did, we started here, and then when you had to attack that hill right there the right side of that path going up. So it's not too bad. This would be the left boundary, the orange tape is, and then the field goes that way for quite a while over that dip towards the interstate over there. So yeah, goes back over there, over the other side of that hill, and uh, over there, you can see the CQ area, and then the staging area is over there too. So yeah, looking forward to see what they do with it. It's definitely something different. So I don't think it's gonna compete with a Velocity or the different parks because it is its own park. It's definitely uh, bigger than anything else we have in San Diego. So it's be good to uh, get big games. But at the same time, when it gets hot, I think they're uh, probably keep closer to the CQB areas that we've gone through before by the parking lot. Different, new, it's fun to see what they keep doing with it.